R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman, man. Yeah, on yeah. to a somber note a bit. Um, R.I.P. to Chadwick Boseman, um, a.k.a. King T'Challa. Yeah. M- more, most notes. The Black notes Panther. About. Mm. The Black Panther. Um, sadly passed away over the weekend. Um, he died to colon cancer. Yeah. Uh, which came as a bit of a surprise, to be honest. Um especially like knowing how long that he was fighting cancer for. He was the first diagnosed with stage three colon cancer in 2016. Mm. So that would have meant that um, at the height of his career, he was dealing with that and, you know, filming. When did Black Panther come out? 2018. 2018, that's mad. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, And I don't know, man, say what you want to say about Black Panther, but. I feel like it did shift um, a, a huge movement at the time. It did. There was so course. much excitement around it. Mm-hmm. You know, I went to see that shit in Uganda, cause like you really got to experience it. You was really in Wakanda. Yeah. I, 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 I watched it here, and I was um, out in Uganda for a wedding, and I was like, "Fam, <laughs> first first cinema experience in Africa, bruv." And Black Panther happens to be out. Yes, I know Wakanda is a fictional place. But it was just like a, it was like a global phenomenon, bro. People yeah. were dressing up to go to the cinema bro, to watch this movie. People was wearing a bad out with the hat. Yeah, and people were bringing jollof to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> but you see that bit, like when we joke here. Yeah? I think people don't understand. Like, it's I think it's a black thing. Like inter community jokes, we can laugh and banter each other. Yeah. But it's from a loving place. Yeah, yeah. yeah like of people course. don't know. Like when I'm banning, oh, you're wearing dashikis to go watch Black Panther. We look at you like, oh, you're doing loads, but like, it's a pride thing. I know that you're really feeling this, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, oh, We're going to ban you a little bit, but it's like, no one can't ban you. I can ban you. you yeah. Know? That's and what like, it is. To be honest, man, had, we hadn't seen anything like this to this magnitude. No, nah, not at all. It's, as far as like comics go and how popular um, the MCU is, like, you know, like we, it was, it was, it was huge. It was on a talk of like a lot of podcasts at the time, Bro, you know, it's it, uh, sorry, I was gonna say I watched that film here. I watched it multiple times. I watched it in Rome as well. Yeah, like and that was that was a, an experience. And it? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Bro. I remember like our last appearance, um, seeing him in a Marvel film was in Endgame. Yeah, and that scene where he first comes out, mm. um, I think he's like one of the first Donnies to come out to to help defeat Thanos. Bro, I was like, and him and Captain America <laughs> doing the the 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. Gun fingers in the cinema, bruv. Like, it's like so, for once, the black man's coming to save the day. We're not dying early. Trust like, me. Man okay. come out from the smoke to come and save the day, bro. <laughs> so yeah, man, you just, um, I think with him dealing with that and his colleagues not even knowing, yes, yeah, that was like, <sighs> I, I guess he understood that he just needed what he needed to do. Everyone, bruv, just because it's a celebrity doesn't mean you can't have a private life. And I love yeah. the fact that like, it wasn't break, the news wasn't broken from like a media outlet. Mm. The family let us know. So like, at least I can be in control of what's going on. Like mm. I'm not in control of my done, body. Like, this disease is ravaging me, mm. but can I at least control my environment, yeah. my privacy, what's happening? Um, it was all done with like mad integrity yeah, from, it's from it's their part. of grace, bro. Like, you know, um, it just kind of exemplified the type of Donny that he was. He just seemed like the Donny that would just, he gets on with it. Yeah, it made me look at him different still. Because mm. the fact that like you have something like that so massive and you're just cracking on because like the height of his career has been the last four or five years. The amount yeah. of movies he's done. Yeah. Like he's had iconic roles. So he's Fergus Marshall. He played James, James Brown, Brown. Black Panther. Um, he was in, was it 21 Bridges? Yeah. Um, he played some like some dope roles. Like, Recent movie um, that came out on Netflix, um, Spike Lee directed. Oh, um, Five Bloods. Mm-hmm. What's the one that's called well? Return of the King? There's another one or something like that. He's got something coming soon. Um, it came out before, I think it was on Netflix okay. as well. I'm probably not wrong. So know? I think like even in the last six months of his life where they had, we, we'd, we'd seen him out but mm. his appearance was significantly different. And obviously all the jokes and stuff like he had to, that's something that you have to enjoy personally, um, knowing that this is it for me. Mm. And still says nothing like, yo, like hold it down. I'm dealing with this, blah, blah, blah. Not, we just kept doing what we was doing, quiet life, him and his wife. Um, and yeah, man, unfortunately, 
um, like you said, it was it was done in the right way where his family made the public aware that he had passed in his home. Um, and he's he's left a, a legacy, bro. Like mm-hmm. everyone's gonna remember him for that iconic Black Panther role. Um, and yeah, I you know there's a lot of people that are saying that he should re- they should they shouldn't recast no. No, that character no. um, because oh, that's all that we can see him as. Mm. We, we, that that's him, you know. So um, yeah, put my jersey in the rafters, man. Retire me, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm done, man. Yeah, Give done. Him a son. And then that'll be the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of like very warming and heartfelt messages that were, um, you know, directed at him in his memory, which was nice to see. Michael B. Jordan one was like, that was like, when I read that, it didn't make me almost tear up, but I was like, it just made me upset and sad. You know, like, yeah, it's when death happens, it's like perspective, innit? You start remembering, like, it's not that I didn't rate you, but I didn't, like, how I'm talking about you now, I never told you this, innit? Mm. Mm. It's almost that feeling of guilt of like, you will never know. Obviously now you may know if you're after, if you're watching, looking down and seeing how I'm telling people about you, but like, I never told you while she was here in my face yeah. that I rate you highly mm. and I have you in high regard. And maybe that's something we all have to kind of do better at. We like- Give people their flowers. Give people their flowers or like not taking our people for granted. Mm. And sometimes not from a bad place. Like, oh, you're going to be around. You're my guy. Like, yeah, no, nah, he would do it. Follow up, get done. I hate you'll be there. Oh yeah, no problem. But it's like, no, let man know that, yo, my, my bro, like, mm you're doing amazing. Yeah. Great job, great work. Like, yes, you're killing it. Like, I'm feeling what you're doing because you don't know what people are dealing with, innit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and especially you know? with like- And when they're gone now, it's all, all we've got now is these these long threads on Twitter or these Instagram captions and you deal with that <coughs> because you never told that person that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man. And especially like with how fragile we all know life can be. Yeah. Bro, like, say what you need to say to the people that, you know, you want it to to go to because i think one thing with me is that like as soon as you feel a certain emotion like there's no point in withholding that especially if it's supposed to be directed at someone that you care about and love Mm -hmm. just say what you need to say just know that they know how you feel towards them because bruv like like you said people just fight fighting these silent battles and then before you know it you don't have the opportunity anymore Mm. and i think that's what mike michael b jordan was saying like you know I wish there was enough time. The time is important. It's like one of those things that we definitely take for granted. Can't put because value the, on time, bro. Yeah, because mm-hmm. the clock don't stop ticking, bruv. Facts. Mm. You know? Hey, I but rate yeah. you man still. I rate you Sad too, bro. I rate, you, man. I rate every man in this room yeah. still. I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all three of y'all. All three, <laughs> all three, all three, all three I I, I love myself love. too, man. I got. Yeah, no, listen. Before I listen, well. shout shout your Jim Jones. <laughs> but I'm gonna be got my Jim Jones here. We got myself a thousand times. Yeah, double F. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but bro, yeah, I man. Like, no, bro. I've been feeling myself. Like, I have to big myself up, bro. The car this life thing ain't easy, bro. It's not. It's bro, not. Life has been pamming off. 2020 has been hell, bro. <laughs> and I'm still here. What, yeah. what do you think this is, bro? Yeah, yeah. So if you're listening to this. You know, whilst you're getting ready to do something, and you're looking at yourself in the mirror, just, just, up, just big yourself up, man. I see pride, I yeah, see power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let yourself know. Should we um, does uh, social media and I'll put us under that as well? Do we need to kind of have a collective L in this moment with Chadwick because of the initial jokes after? Um, yeah, I think uh, social media, everyone's super reactive and everyone wants the to go viral with their memes. But at the same time, it's like, rah, as you can see, as we've just seen, Donny was dying. Mm. And sometimes I feel like we need to be a bit more sensitive, especially like when someone's made such a drastic change in appearance. You but know the what assumption is because you're an actor, we, the initial assumption was for some people, this is what I was doing a 50 cent thing. Fear for a role, or that Donny, because I didn't notice the way straight away. So when it was like the press, stuff for maybe like the next six months to a year after Black Panther, like his appearances, mm. when he would have to do the Wakanda sign, it, Donny Jenny looked tired and like over it. So that's where the jokes come from, innit? Yeah. Now, I saw some people on his on the Instagram and he looked like visibly like I lost a lot of weight and couldn't like crack Panther and he turned off his Instagram comments. If I'd seen that, I don't think I would've joked on that. Yeah. But I won't, I'm not gonna pretend to sit there and act like I'm perfect. When the initial photos come out and like you'd see him at um, an awards ceremony or something, he's doing the, the Black Panther sign. I'm like, yeah, Donny's tired, he's done, yeah. bruv. Like, yeah. Tired. But not knowing that he was going through this, innit? Mm. Yeah, because mm. um, dealing with someone that is is suffering from a term, terminal illness, mm. 
chemotherapy is just exhausting. Like that, just that. Draining. From one aspect. And the fact that you have to be on grueling schedules on set. And be smiley, be. Be smiley, like you have to be on your A game, especially as a celebrity all the time. Mm. Yes, is the choice that he made to carry on, which you have to commend him for because there's a lot of people that, you know, as soon as they're diagnosed, they lose all hope in hell because they know that it's a major fight and you have to really psych yourself up mm. to want to beat it. Bro, I would have told the, <laughs> the film has suck your mum, give the script to Denzel. <laughs> I'm done, bro. What do you think? Bro, I've got two years left to my fam, that ain't working. He's crazy, bro. What do you yeah. think this is? So I think he wanted to, and you know, he was still going to visit, um, you know, cancer, young cancer patients in hospitals and yeah, stuff he's a, like he's that. A, he's a G, man. He, yeah, man, you know, so I guess with, a lot of people aren't gonna see that aspect of, mm. you know, how they should react to when they see an actor, you know. It's, it's, it's a difficult one. It's harder because like the knee jerk reactions are, we should all be kind, but at the same time, yeah, I just feel like, bruv, human beings were cunts at times and that's mm -hmm. fine. You need to feel all your feels, isn't mm -hmm. it? Because that whole fakeness of like, be kind. Within two days, I've seen people joke on LeBron's hairline and other things like, mm. bro, if you don't know what people are going through, that could be a trigger for my man, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. But somebody's joke slaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's the truth. And as human beings, we're not gonna be nice all the time. And I think sometimes it's unfair when you're a high profile celebrity, you have fame, money, we almost don't view as your normal human being, isn't it? Mm. And I saw like, sometimes with the jokes, it's like our way of feeling like on your level a little bit. Like mm -hmm. I can kind of bring you down to this level because there's something mm. about you where like, I can ban you about, you're not perfect. Yeah. You know? Like, as think, think about like what I'm talking about here. Like, LeBron has everything you think in the world you need. Six foot plus, black God, black wife, the money, success. He'll go down as an NBA great, but Donny can't have a hairline. Mm. No matter how much he tries, how much money he spends, Donny will never have good hair, bro. Yeah. So it just shows you're just like me, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's why a lot of us joke, human, have you yeah. joking it? I, mean, I think that's an unspoken human, thing. And like, be kind. Yes, I think we, yes, we should make more steps to be better as people. But sometimes you gotta feel your shit, bro. It's like mm. every day, man ain't gonna be in the in the mood, and maybe I'm I'm redistributing the pain, and it's not good. And man's lashing out. Sometimes it comes across on social media where you joke on someone else. But bro, we're human beings, bro. Mm. Like yeah, celebrities are human beings, um, and it is what it is. You know, like obviously with this one, it was just unfortunate that it was off the back of. It's him. a this is a very example. A it's like one, it? when you look and you see, right? Someone was mm. in the comments calling him Crack Panther, and he's died of cancer. I see a lot of people get like, you know the whole this you. Yeah. So they'll be like, oh, you gotta be kind. And someone pull up their tweet of what they said about Chadwick yeah. months ago. And like, yeah, look at you, it's mad, bro. Yeah, yeah. so rest in peace again to um, Chadwick Boseman. Rest in power. Um, you know, your your legacy is cemented. Yeah. Um, not just with comic fans worldwide, but you know. All the young black kids out there, man, you know. I see uh, Halloween is now, that's like, that's a, a staple in the costume now. Fam, I was Black Panther last year. I yeah. remember. I oh. killed it. I used to. Big up yourself. Talk my shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs>